Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be looking at this PlayStation 3 that my friend sent over to me. It belongs to his son, um, who sounds like a, an avid gamer, and he'd really like to have this back in working condition. So it sounds like right now it's uh, not reading discs, so we'll get into this today. Hopefully we'll be able to get it fixed, working again, and back on its way. Should be a good one. Stick around. All right, let's start out by putting in a disc, and he sent a couple to me here. This one looks to be pretty clean. We'll see what it's doing. So it does take the disc in, that's good. Sounds like it's trying to spin. It stops spinning. Now it sounds like the I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds like the laser is trying to focus in, so. And now it sounded like it tried to eject for a second. Spinning again. And it stopped spinning. Yeah, so it sounds like, let's see if it'll eject. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like it spins for a little bit, then it tries to focus the laser in, and then it stops. So it may just be... A dirty laser or it could be that um, the laser has begun to to die on this unit these I can't remember when the ps3 originally came out but um, they're probably getting to that point in their life with heavy usage that the the lasers uh, may need to be replaced we'll try to clean it first see if that does anything and uh, we'll go from there so first let's get this apart all right, I have all of the screws removed um, from the bottom. Most of them are hidden underneath either the rubber feet or um, some little screw covers here. Um, the hard drive cover is inside here. And most of these are, are Phillips head. Um, the rubber foot on the bottom side here and the bottom left corner is, is actually not hiding a screw. So you may be tempted to try to pry that one out, but there's nothing there. Um, one of these was missing. Unfortunately, I, I can... Um, see if I have one available or if not, I can, I can tell my friend where he can purchase it, but it's not really a big deal. Um, there are three Torx bit security screws here. Some of them, some of the PlayStations have a fourth, uh, over here, but you do need a special screwdriver for those. Otherwise the rest of them are just Phillips. So now we should be able to lift from the back forward and we'll be able to take a look at what we have here. Not very dirty, it's a little bit, but you know, given the age of this console, I, I, I kind of expected it to be a little bit worse. Um, yeah, so now what we'll do is keep taking this apart. We'll get the hard drive um, taken out, or the disk drive, excuse me. Um, we'll pop the top off and take a look at the inside and um, see if we can get that laser cleaned up and see if that helps. Okay, I have the disk drive out from the rest of the console. Um, and it's actually very clean inside the console, so um, maybe that's good news for us, but um, could be bad news as well, just because um, usually if you have a, um, if the inside of the console is dirty, then it's more likely that um, the inside of the disk drive as well is dirty, and uh, I kind of hope that that would be the case because usually then it's just a matter of cleaning up the uh, the lens of the laser but um, if this is very clean it could be that the laser has begun to fail which hopefully is not the case uh, maybe we'll still get lucky but uh, we won't know until we get it open uh, and again very clean um, so we need to get this apart and knit another layer. And I think I may have taken it, um, taken the wrong side of off. It may have, my life would have probably been easier if I'd taken the bottom. Uh, so let me do that. All right. The, taking the bottom off didn't get me where I was looking, uh, to go. Um, and I think I just missed it originally. I see two screws here, one, two that are holding the front and then the back is, um, I've already pried it off but are held in with these clips. So once I take these two screws out here, I should be able to push those out and then uh, lift off from the front. Okay, I've cleaned the 
laser lenses. Um, one thing I'm going to do since I already have this open, and this is a um, this came up recently when I was fixing this other PS3, which I'll link over here, is um, these micro switches uh, you can see here um, and the underneath. So um, I kind of explained it a little bit in the other video, but what these do is um, they're triggered by this mechanism here. And as it goes through its full um, range of motion, um, the first one is triggered when you put the disc in and you see it hits it almost immediately. I'll, I can see it from here's the uh, moving piece. It hits it almost immediately. And what that does is it tells um, the drive that someone is putting a disc in um, and it will then trigger the rollers um, to pull that disc the rest of the way. Then once the disc gets all the way in, the second one is triggered um, and that tells the drive to then spin the disc uh, and, and begin reading it. Um, we didn't have an issue with the disc being pulled in. Um, it did sound like it was spinning a little bit, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just clean these switches just to kind of future-proof them a little bit just in case, um, you know, maybe that second... Um, switch is a little bit dirty so it spins for a little bit and, and turns off i i can't imagine that's the case but uh this is already open so um there's not going to be any harm in that so what i'll do is just drop some isopropyl alcohol uh into these and just um just trigger them a few times um, and that'll just clean up any dirt that may be in there all right i have put this back together enough where uh i can test it so we'll keep our fingers crossed and see if it does anything different. Well, it does do something different. And that is, it's not currently taking the disc in. All right, let's try this again. Before I put this back together, I just want to test that both of these switches yeah, let me bring it up a little bit closer. Um, both these micro switches, there you go, here and here are working. Um, so to test that, all I need to do is go across um, two of their points. Um, the points in the back here, here and here, here and here. Um, those should not be in contact when the switch is out but when it's pushed in, they should make a contact, and then I'll know that the switch uh, is working as intended. So you should hear a beep when I push that switch in. And make sure I'm on the contacts. There we go. That one's good. Well, let's test this one. Good. So both switches are now good. Um, I'll go ahead and reassemble this, put it back into the console enough to test, um, and we'll see if it's behaving any differently. All right, I have the PlayStation back enough where we can test it. Um, so let's put in a disc and let's see if it's doing anything different than it was doing before. It's still taking the disc. That's good. It does seem like it's spinning up a little bit. It still kind of stops and starts, um, similar to what it was doing before. Seems like the laser's trying to focus still. Uh, now it made that sound where it's kind of sounded like it wanted to eject but it it didn't yeah unfortunately i think this is the same behavior so um at this point um i'm going to talk to my friend we'll probably order up a new disk drive um, at which point i'll need to swap over uh, the daughter board inside here uh, you may have seen earlier when i was taking it apart but there's a little uh, computer board in here that um, PlayStation marries to the main motherboard. So you can't just get a disk drive 
uh, off the internet and pop it in and play games. It needs that um, daughter board switched over to the new drive um, so they'll talk to each other, basically. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll talk to him now, figure out a plan forward, and um, we'll come back. Okay, I gave my friend the bad news about the drive um, and asked him if he wanted me to go ahead and order a new one. And as you can tell here, he did. So uh, what I need to do now is take the daughter board out of the original drive and transfer that into the new drive. That way it'll be paired with the PlayStation and um, it should be able to um, then read discs and function as normal. So let's open these up and I'll show you that process. All right, here they are both open. Um, now to switch these out, now here's the daughter board. The, the small board down here is, um, I believe not tied to uh, the PlayStation. It's just a little switcher board. Um, so all we need to do is remove these ribbon cables here and then it should gently lift out of place. So there is um, one ribbon underneath, which has a locking tab on it. Let me flip this up this way. It'll be easier to see. Down here like that, you just need to pull that tab up, and then it'll slide out. And here's the daughter board installed into the working disk drive. So we'll get that put back together. Uh, get it into the PlayStation and then test it and see. Fingers crossed. All right, I have the disk drive put in. Uh, let's get a disk here and make sure it's clean. Moment of truth. Right now it doesn't want to pull the disc in. All right, let's take it apart. We'll check the connections um, and see what may be the cause. All right, so what I want to do now is just um, check to make sure that these um, switches, these micro switches uh, are um, operating as they're intended. So you remember from when we did this earlier, the first micro switch tells it when to pull the disc in and the second one then tells it to spin. So right now, no continuity. And that, that switch is working. Let's check this next one. That's good as well. So let's make sure that the ribbon cable, um, is connected properly up to the board. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Um, I'll go ahead and take it out. And it's just gonna communicate from the small board um, to the larger. There's no real easy way to do this. These are small contacts. So um, I'll probably just do this off camera, but um, you can see on the, on the cable itself, there's these tiny little tracks and then you just go through to the other end. And so as long as there's a connection from one end to the other, um, it should be good. I'll try to test one really quick. And there you hear it. So I'm just gonna test all those to make sure they're good. All right, I reconnected it and it was doing the same thing. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do next is, this is the original drive, and we know it was taking disks in, um, it just was not reading them. And this is the new drive, which is not taking disks in, um, but I assume the laser is good. So I think what I'll do is take the daughter board, put it back into the original, take the laser assembly and put it into the original and then cross my fingers. Let's do that. All right. 
Here's the original daughter board back in the original disk drive. Here is the new laser lens. And it's just held in, once you get into it, uh, it's just held in with these four screws. this up and out and drop it into its new home. All right, I'm going to get that screwed in, connect everything back up, put it in there again. We'll come back when I got that. All right, so here we are. Just to recap, this is the original disk drive with the original daughter board. Basically, the only thing I took from the new drive was the laser lens assembly. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm uh, kind of out of options. So, uh, fingers crossed, please. First, let's see if it even takes the disc. It does? Okay. Well, it did that before. It's spinning up. It did that before as well. Okay, look at that. We have a game. Oh my gosh, that was I'm going to I'm going to make sure it plays. That was a a journey. All right. Yeah, here we go. Modern Warfare 3. Nice. All right. So, uh what I'm going to do next is <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take this apart again. Actually, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it down further than I took it before, um, because what I want to do is um, just make sure this is clean, so I can get it back to my friend. I'm gonna put some new thermal paste on it, and that will make sure that it stays cool and and um, operates, you know, quietly, doesn't overheat, you know, kind of prolong the life a little bit, uh, and then I will button it all the way back up and um, give it one more test. Um, but so far, feeling optimistic. All right, here it is all put back together. Uh, I'm playing a little bit of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I just wanted to check that both discs were working. And I also cleaned up the controller, so I took it apart, cleaned all the contacts on the inside, um, just making sure that the buttons are nice and responsive now, and that everything works um, as it should. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can get somebody here. Oh, sorry, guy. All right. So everything seems good. I'm glad I could uh, get this put back together. Uh, I'll let my friend um, tell his son the good news. And um, hopefully this is, you know, going to give him more years of, uh, years of gameplay. So... Uh, if you've watched this far in the video, thank you guys so much. Please give this a like and a subscribe, and um, we'll see what we do in the next video. Thanks.